in the middle of Jerome, Idaho, and my car won't start, so I get to learn how to jump a car. Yay for me! It made more money than my minivan. He really is one of my most favorite people on this planet. Hey guys, this is Allison. I am so excited to bring you four things today. First thing, we're gonna hear Bree's story. She just launched her business, you guys. Her story makes me so happy and so excited. You're going to want to stick around for that. Second thing is how a swipe up generated more sales than a minivan that I used to have. Third thing, I'm gonna share some amazing secrets, some amazing things that I learned from experts. I got to go up to the ClickFunnels office in Boise. Stick around, power golden nuggets in there. And then the fourth thing is an update on grandpa and his beautiful love of 74 years. I'm going to update you, subscribe, like, share this video, and let's get started because it's going to be a really, really good one. Hi, my name is Bree with Tula Boutique, and I just launched my store three days ago and have done over $500 in sales already. So I am so excited about that. I joined Allison's course back in May, beginning of June. Uh, I kind of just stumbled upon her, but I was so um, just wanting to create freedom in my life. I have um, two kids and a husband. I'm a working mom of two and so I just wanted to create time freedom so that I can spend time with my kids and so I joined her course not really sure what I was doing not sure at all what I was doing but knew that she would help me along the way and I've always been interested in fashion and have a little fashion blog that I've run for a couple years and I've always thought it would be fun to have my own clothing store but wrote it off as one of those things like meh I'll never be able to really do that but I realized through Allison and her trainings that I can because I can right so um that's what I set out to do I built my store and just launched three days ago tulaboutique.com and actually I'm wearing I'm wearing one of the shirts from the shop right now but um, launched it and within three days over $500 in sales and without the coupon codes we had some offers um, without those it'd probably be close to $600 in sales so I am just completely blown away to be able to go from zero to that within a matter of days uh, less than a week and I just feel so empowered and encouraged and really the group that Allison and the community that she's been able to build build is completely priceless. It's so awesome as a business owner because you go through bumps, you get discouraged. To be able to go there and be encouraged by other people who are going through the same thing as you and people who help you and people who are there for you and they got your back, it's completely priceless as a business owner and so I'm so thankful for Allison. I'm so thankful for this course and this community and I'm most excited for all of the good things yet to come and to grow my business with her and the community by my side. You guys know that, yes, I teach a class on how to do e-commerce stuff, right? But I'm also doing e-commerce. Like, I am in it right now, finding out how it works. It's not me telling a story of how my daughter sold $100,000 like three years ago, two years ago, right? It's not that like, I'm in here doing this every single day and I want to show you guys something that happened today and what is working because this is what I drink my own Kool-Aid like I teach what I'm currently doing for you guys to be successful so I wanted to show you what I did what I did is I had another person sell my product for me so it wasn't me it was someone else selling my product for me they did it on an Instagram story with a swipe up, you guys, it made more money than my minivan cost when I bought it a few years ago. Now, I don't have a minivan anymore. I switched it out for a Honda Pilot that I love. But to go back to it, that swipe up made a heck of a lot of money. So I'm gonna show you a little, few little clips on how to do it, but reach out to influencers. And yes, I had to pay this influencer which you'll see is a blog that I own called How Does She, but I have to pay How Does She the same amount of money that I pay any other 
influencer out there. It's the same. I try it on mine. If it works, then we go out to other influencers. And are we gonna go out to other influencers? Absolutely, as soon as we get all these orders shipped out, because there's a lot of orders, which is fun, right? Guys, make this happen. It is happening today, not like three years ago, two years ago. Like this happened today, today's Wednesday. Happened, really did. I'll show you the numbers. Look at the sales, $7,500. Just for a little Instagram story swipe up. I'm headed up to Boise for a meeting, but before I head up, I just stopped by to see how Grandpa's doing. So come with me, let's go. We're gonna go surprise him. He caught me. He saw me driving up. I can't surprise him. He's way too fast. <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa were married for 74 years. This Tuesday, um, a year ago, she passed away, so we're getting some plans ready to go put flowers up on her grave. We miss her so much. All right, I love you, Grandpa. You're much. He really is one of my most favorite people on this planet. Good morning! I'm headed into the Click Funnels office this morning for, um, I don't know what I call my brain on Disneyland. I'm really excited to go into a business meeting. Whoa, I geek out about these kind of things. Hey guys, John Lee Dumas. What's up in the house? It's, guess what? That's Russell Brunson right there. He is amazing. Okay, so here are the four things that I learned up at that Click Funnels office that I'm taking back with me and going to be using in all of my businesses because they were so good. Number one, choose an avatar. And an avatar is someone, just one person that you sell to, that you talk to, that you can communicate with. Because when you're going and you're making your choices in your business and as you're building your brand, it will help you get clarity and simplify your process. And that was number two, a simplify right there. So for an example, when I was building Pick Your Plum, my avatar was a girl named Nikki. She was a mom of four. She was beautiful, but she wasn't perfect. She could bake a little bit, but was trying to learn. And she was trying to be the best person that she possibly could. This was my avatar. So anything that I brought in, it had to fit Nikki. And if it didn't fit Nikki, I wasn't gonna sell it. So all my baking supplies took her baking level from bleh to whoa, just by the presentation of it. All the clothing I brought in, did it fit Nikki's style? If I was choosing colors, did it have that turquoise, because turquoise was her favorite color, did it have a turquoise theme to it? If it did, then that was it. And you guys, we sold so much Chevron turquoise products. Holy cow, we sold a lot of that stuff because I knew my defined person. I knew who I was selling to. So as you build your brand, think about who you're selling to. Then if you're like, oh, should I sell fishing lures? No, Nikki wasn't gonna go fishing. I mean, she might have, but that wasn't who she was. She found joy in her family. That's who my avatar was, and that's how I helped to focus down on that brand. Okay, second, simplify. Don't make it complicated. If you know your avatar, then the fishing lures or the bowling balls or whatever, you're not gonna sell that. You're not gonna model with that. If you know who your person is, it's so much easier to make decisions. My number one led to number two, led to number three. You guys, this is like perfect. Okay, number three, less time for decisions, right? If I'm selling to Nikki, then I know what she likes. So it's gonna make it so much easier. If I wander over for dinner, it'd be a great, awesome conversation, and I wouldn't be trying to pitch my product. She would already want it because it's Nikki what she wants. And then number four, be a person of value. When Nikki comes over, I wanna show her how to bake in these cupcake liners and show her a specific recipe that goes in it. And I'm giving her value. I'm not selling, 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 right? But I'm giving her content, giving her information that she'll be able to use to be a better person. Like where to put washi tape on the outside of I don't know, envelope or something like that to make it cuter, right? How can you offer value to, if you're in fashion, you know, how can you pair it with a pair of shoes or a pair of earrings to make you look skinnier, taller, stronger, whatever, right? They give people value and just instead of pushing product, how can you give a little bit more value to improve their life? 
in the middle of Jerome, Idaho, and my car won't start, so I get to learn how to jump a car. Yay for me! Good thing there's nice people out there that help me jump my car, because I left it on, because I pulled over to the side of the road, I was answering emails. <laughs> I learned how to jump a car. Yay for me! Let's hope I don't have to do it again. I was on the freeway, stopped solid. It has taken me about two extra hours to get home. Grandpa's event is happening so soon, so I hope I can make it. So I gotta stop and get flowers and go get my family and then head up to the graveside and I only have a couple hours to do it in. So fingers crossed that I can make this happen. On the freeway going one mile an hour. Come on. Oh, that took seven and a half hours to get home, which it should have taken about four hours. Oh my goodness. Picked up the family, got 14 minutes to be there, and it's gonna take us a little longer than that, so we're driving as fast as we can to get up there. We made it one minute early, yay! Oh, oh now we're on time. Now we're on time. <laughs> but nobody's here. We're chicken dinner. We got here first. business make this your reality why because you can because I can join the because I can clan get involved learn watch the videos binge 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 watch and make this your reality why because it's happening you guys it happened with Brie I'm doing it it's your turn okay we'll see you later bye